Dallas police vehicles vandalized. Fortunately, no officers were hurt, but it is raising the issue of police safety that has been dogging the, the department and the city for years. Rachel Hackbarth with our top story at 10 o'clock. This is our problem right here. We have almost two acres of land that anybody could walk into our parking lot and attack any officer. Dallas Police Association officials are calling for a fence at the Dallas Police Command Center. Early Sunday morning, police say that Gregory Simpson vandalized 12 Dallas Police vehicles with a sledgehammer. Police tell me that they were able to take this suspect into custody without using any force, but if something like this keeps happening, they're afraid that might not always be the case. We're unfortunately going to have to hurt somebody, injure them, or possibly kill them. And who are they going to blame? They're going to blame the police officer for having to do his duty. This latest incident against Dallas police comes nearly three years after a man in an armored van shot up Dallas police headquarters. At the time, police say the city promised them more safety. Now, there's frustration. This city is not working. It's failing. And because it's failing, the department is failing to protect the public. We took officers' concerns to the city's public safety committee. They say they're frustrated too. We're three years down the road from when the guy opened fire with semi automatic weapons at the police headquarters. That should have been enough to get more done. Committee members say the city has the money, it's been approved. Now it's just a matter of getting the ball rolling. I don't think we can move fast enough. We've got men and women that are out serving us every day that are going in and out of those places, and we got to make sure that we're, we're taking care of those folks. In Dallas, Rachel Hackbarth. CBS 11 News.